Hi, Dr. Anzea. I'm going to discuss briefly what is fruit juice before we go deep into the applications of enzyme on fruit juice. Fruit juice is a non-fermented beverage that met from the extraction or pressing of the natural liquid content in the fruits. It is known as a good vehicle for bioactive compounds due to their efficiency to impact health benefits. Based on an NARC group, the global fruit juice market reached a volume of 46.3 billion liters in 2019, registering a cumulative annual growth of 1.8% from 2014 to 2019. In addition, the market is expected to grow stably in the next five years. Hi, my name is Inashini. Today I'm going to talk about use of enzyme in the fruit juice production. Fruit juice is a popular product among communities and good quality of juice production is impossible to achieve without the use of enzymes. This figure shows the general fruit juice processing procedure and the main processes susceptible to the assistance of enzyme have been highlighted which are the enzyme pretreatment and the clarification process. In addition, we should understand the main components in plant cell walls in order to have a better comprehension on the type of enzymes involved as well as their mode of action. Pectin, cellulase and hemicellulase are the three main components targeted by the enzymes during those two stages mentioned before. Hello, my name is Shania Jordan Justin and today I'll be presenting about the types of enzyme used in the fruit juice making. Basically, there are six types of enzymes, which are oxidoreductase, ligase, hydrolase, transferase, lyase, and isomerase. The enzyme used in this case fall under hydrolase and lyase. Hydrolase and lyase both break chemical bonds but in different manner in which hydrolase requires water, while lyase breaks the bond through elimination reaction. Now, let us dive into the examples of commercially available enzymes in the market, including pectinase, cellulase, and amylase. Pectinase are a mixture of enzymes consisting of pectin esterase, polygalactronase, and pectin lyase. Pectin esterase catalyzes the esterification of the methoxyl group of pectin, yielding pectic acid and methanol. Pectin lyase pleats alpha 1 4 glycosidic bonds by transamination and catalyzes transaluminative cleavage of pectin. Polygalactronase cleaves alpha 1 4 glycosidic bonds of the pectic acid. So the next enzyme is cellulose. Cellulose hydrolyzes cellulose into monosaccharide and oligosaccharides by breaking beta 1 4 glycose in one. The region which is circled refers to beta 1 4 glycose in one. Aminase is another important enzyme used in fruit juice processing. Aminase degrades the starch together with pectinases during the depictinization of juice. It eliminates the possible action of starch molecule agglomerating proteins and pectins, thus eliminating hair formation, which is an undesirable condition in fruit juice products. Hi, my name is Sharini Binti Osman and I would like to present about the advantages of enzyme in the fruit juice production. As you can see in the slides, there are so many benefits are listed. Firstly, during the treatment of fruit juices, the enzyme rests the juice yield and improves the extraction rate for certain flavor and color components. Next is the enzyme reduces the viscosity and increase the concentration to obtain a limpid product as well as prevents the precipitation of the juices. Lastly, the application of enzyme in fruit juices production enhances the filtration process which increases the speed of the filtration. I am Nurjuani Hazira Binti Abdul Hadi and I will be presenting on challenge of using enzyme during production of fruit juice. We highlight two common challenges recovery and stability of enzyme during extraction and loss of phenolic compound during processing step. Recovery and stability of enzyme is very important since low recovery rate and instable enzyme will result in higher production cost which is unfavorable for the industry. There are several ways to overcome. High recovery rate of enzyme can be obtained through ultrafiltration and enzyme can be stabilized through addition of additives such as glycerol. Loss of phenolic compound is also a concerning matter. This is due to certain processing steps or usage of enzyme which may disrupt 
or metabolize the phenolic compound into another compound. Barrows et al. have observed the decrease in raspberry phenolic compound, which is made due to the secondary action of certain enzymes such as beta-glucosidase or beta-galactosidase.